Hello there! Well, October coming to a close in a little bit, we have one final horror series to discuss. And probably today, I'm going to be discussing the Final Destination franchise. Created by a couple of X-Files writers, the franchise started off, like a lot of horror films, with a simple idea. What if there's a specific time in which we're supposed to perish on this Earth, and a gut feeling causes us to save ourselves? Well, needless to say, Death supposedly has a plan, and does not like to be cheated, and that is what drives the story of Final Destination. So let's take a quick look at this franchise before the trick-or-treaters come to knock loudly at the door. The characters aren't hugely developed, and the acting is weak, but Final Destination more than makes up for it with its interesting concept and storyline. James Wong's direction is well-timed, with the death scenes being creatively handled and plot twists that aren't as stupid as they could have been. Some sequences are even quite tense at points, since you know the characters' fates already. In the end, I even start to legitimately care about the survival of the leads, which is a good sign for any dead teenager movie. Final Destination is simply a fun ride. Unfortunately, I felt Final Destination 2 to be a step down from the first film, and that while it's still kind of fun, the filmmakers mainly focus on upping the gore and making this plan even more convoluted. The characters are also more of a blank slate this time around. However, there are some impressive sequences and a couple bits here and there that cause some suspense. Though after a number of scenes that fake out the viewer, they start to become expected. However, it's in less 90 minutes of just dumb fun. With each entry in the series, it seems like they get sillier and sillier. The deaths in Final Destination 3 lack much creativity here, and are practically laughable most of the time. Most of the characters are also very annoying, and with little time spent on the supporting players, they're not developed at all. Mary Elizabeth Winstead is the only actor here who gives a good performance and is very likable. She's able to bring something to her one-dimensional character at the very least. There's pretty much little suspense, little horror, and little care here. Once we get to the ideally title, The Final Destination, the series appears to get more and more stupid as it goes along. Deaths get more elaborate and frankly a lot more silly and this entry is ultimately one big ridiculous gore fest. None of the characters are interesting and fleshed out with bad acting all around, and there's a lot more care on the over-the-top 3D than being particularly creative. To its credit, there is one legitimately suspenseful scene, but that's the only positive I could find here. At this point, I think Death is just giving the protagonist these premonitions just so he can have some fun and play around with them. He must have a really boring day job. Some genuinely suspenseful scenes and some interesting plot twists are not enough to save Final Destination 5, which is filled with lame characters and just as much stupidity as the last couple of Final Destinations. None of the characters have any personality to them whatsoever, all by actors just using this as a possible career launching pad. The death scenes start out with the right amount of suspense, but the characters all end up being off in the most unbelievably stupid ways. Screenplay does later write some creative scenarios that play around with the usual formula of the series, and the ending goes nicely full circle in a satisfying conclusion. However, it also reminded me that the franchise started off in a much better executed manner. And that's the Final Destination series. Even though Warner Brothers hasn't announced another one, it's bound to happen. Like any other horror films, these films are too profitable to stop. Of course, considering the current trend, they'll probably make the next one a found footage flick. I'll see you next time. What's that? Oh, great. I'm in the middle of a found footage horror film. If you excuse me, I have some ghosts to beat up. What the? What was that?